yeah, baby, this is what I love right here. When they set all the Christmas trees up so that you can actually walk through them like a Christmas tree forest. Yes, how cool is this? Good job, Lowe's. That looks so cool right there. Oh my gosh, all right. There's a lot of stuff here, but right now I only have a little bit of time, so we're gonna go look at the inflatables. More Christmas trees. Look how tall this one is here. I wish I could have that in my house. 12 foot Richmond fir, heck yeah, look at that thing. That is so huge. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of inflatables that are inflated on the top of these uh, racks over here. And then there's a few up here. Usually they would have all the inflatables and all the Christmas stuff like right over in this area, but for some reason this year they don't. This year, or at least today, they are in aisle 26. Look at this, they got a whole bunch of cool stuff here, man. All right, I can't wait to get back here and make another video, but let's look at all these inflatables right here, right now, because this is what we have time to do. These are too funny too. Like, look at this little Christmas tree here. I've seen inflatable Christmas trees before, but I don't think I've ever seen one with a happy face on it. Then of course we have the pig here. We got this little guy here, the Yeti, wearing a Santa hat. And then we have a dinosaur with the candy cane. And actually, if you've ever seen the Disney movie, The Good Dinosaur, he kind of looks like Arlo, like the way his face is there. Hello, Arlo. Okay, let's start digging in here. We got some Santas here, three and a half foot Santas, little chubby guy. We got the three and a half foot pig here. We have the sitting Yeti. Those two are the ones that we just looked at up here and they're both pretty dang cool. I like how his smile is just off to the side like that. We have a Mandalorian Grogu. We have, let's see, the Santa and Friends, which is Santa and a snowman and a little reindeer. And then what is this? This is a mini mouse. I wonder why it's made like that. Kind of looks like a Weeble. You guys remember Weebles? And then we got Mickey down here, the Mickey that looks like a Weeble. And then we have a six and a half foot igloo scene. I thought maybe we saw this somewhere else, but I guess not. There's snow place like home for the holidays. There's an igloo, a polar bear, a seal, and a penguin. It's snowing like the tiniest bit outside right now, but I cannot wait until it snows really, really good so I can get out there and make an actual igloo. Ooh, a 12 foot inflatable nutcracker. People are going nuts this year over nutcrackers, but like the real wooden ones that are six feet tall, but this one's 12 feet. That is pretty cool. Seven foot metallic Christmas tree. I've never seen a metallic one before. Seven foot snowman. Look at the look on his face and that hat. And then we have, what is this, a five foot alligator with gifts. That looks like the kind of thing you'd find in Florida. Six and a half foot wide nativity scene here. Hello, baby Jesus. We have a nine and a half foot Yeti. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of those. 12 foot Santa with a gift box. Then we have a 10 foot dinosaur with Santa riding the dinosaur. This reminds me of Pee Wee's Big Adventure where they go up inside the dinosaur and sit there and watch the sun rise from inside his mouth. And then down on the bottom here, we have a seven foot animated Santa coming out of a chimney. That's the kind that goes in and out of the chimney. And then we got, let's see the peanuts. It's a uh, Snoopy on a motorcycle. We got an eight foot wide animated airplane with Santa as the captain. Seven and a half foot Santa in a old car with a Christmas tree on the back. That's cool. And look at the one beside it here. It's Minnie and Mickey in some kind of a hot rod. That's awesome. Ooh, and then look at this one beside it. Welcome to Whoville. 11 and a half, no, 11 foot wide Grinch arch. That's cool. It's got the Grinch on one side and Max, his dog, on the other side. I'm really surprised that that's all they have right here. There's got to be another section with inflatables because it looks like a lot of them up here we didn't see. And there's even a couple of them up here that we didn't see. Let's just go down here for a minute and look. There just might be some around the corner here. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't see any more inflatables. Wait a minute, over here there's some. All right, wait a minute, here we go. These are some of the bigger ones. Seven foot tall Mickey Mouse with a top hat and the Noel sign beside him. Looks like he's singing Christmas carols. 
We got the seven and a half foot tall Grinch here, and he's got a Uba Luba or whatever you call it. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a giant Snoopy. He's six and a half feet tall with a candy cane. Six and a half foot tall Minion. That's pretty cool. I like these guys because they're so huge. And I know we've already seen the Welcome to Whoville Arch, but I'm not sure if we saw the 12 foot Santa with gift box. It's really weird that they have these in a different area than the other ones. Let's just go back here for a minute because there's a lot of Christmas stuff over here lights and garlands and things like that. Maybe there's other inflatables over here too. Wow, that's weird. I don't see any more. There's the Snoopy on the motorcycle up there. He actually has wood stock on the back there too. Wait a minute, is it wood stock or wood chuck? I'm pretty sure it's wood chuck. Okay, yeah, and then if we just look up at these ones up here, there's the Santa on the end like we saw at, I think it was at the at-home store where he goes in and out of the chimney. This one's a little bit different. There's actually a house on it, but yeah, if you just watch him, he goes into the chimney there, and once he's in there, you'll see it'll inflate again, and he'll come right back out the top. All right, Santa, we're ready. He's delivered his gifts, and he's on his way back out the chimney. That is too hilarious. I love that. Then beside him, of course, we have a giant Yeti. I actually thought it was Bumble at first from the Rudolph movie, but it's not. It's just a regular Yeti, but he is awesome. And then if we move down here, we can see the inflated igloo there, and right beside that is an animated chipmunk. I don't see him actually doing anything, and I can't read the box from here, so I'm not sure what exactly he's supposed to do, but he is holding a nut. <laughs> so here's a bear up here that's kind of like that Santa. He goes in and out of the gift box. He's going down in it right now. I'm curious to see if the top of it actually closes. I guess not, because it doesn't look like he goes enough, far enough into the box before he starts coming back out. Yeah, there he is. And then right beside him, there's a Snoopy on his doghouse. I know we didn't see that in a box over there. We got that metallic tree right there. I actually thought it was gonna be much bigger. Well, it does say it's seven feet, so it must be a lot bigger. It just looks smaller because I'm down here. But there we got Mickey, we got the Grinch, we got that uh, dinosaur over there. A couple of penguins over there. There's a couple of Santas there. Ooh, we got Stitch right there. Um, a Minion, we got those two that we saw. Another Minnie Mouse. There's an Eeyore over there, and I'm pretty sure we saw the rest of these. You know what, there's one more place we can check, guys. Out through these doors. I highly doubt there's gonna be any out here, but it does say there's Christmas decorations out here. There's even more outside here, but I know they wouldn't have any out here. They would save inflatables and stuff for inside the store. However, I do have to come out here to see this. Look how cool this looks. A whole Christmas setup here complete with a fireplace. That is awesome. All right, let's go on back in. Thank you, automatic doors. Whole bunch of Christmas trees out here. If they had any inflatables over here, this is the area where they would be, and I do not see any. However, I do have to take a look at this Grinch right here. What the heck? The Grinch LED whirl emotion hanging Grinch head. This is totally different from what we're used to, like this one right here, where it shoots the uh, the lights up on the ceiling and around the walls. This does the same thing, but it shoots the lights down onto the floor. How cool is that? Yeah, just one last look. I don't see any other inflatables out here at all. And I'm pretty sure that we have covered all the aisles in the store where they would be. So yeah, that's all I really have time for right now, guys. Let's walk one more time back through the Christmas tree forest. Merry Christmas to one and all.